Welcome to Age's Guide to Disabling the Verizon OTA Update on the rooted Magnolia ROM HTC Incredible phone. If you have rooted a phone and installed a custom ROM, then most likely the Verizon automatic, Automated Update System is sending a big 80 megabyte file to your phone to try to update it. However, it, the phone will not update since it's been rooted and it's got a different ROM. So this update is rather annoying. So I had to find a way to disable it. So if you have this update, you will need to go through these steps. You will need to go to the marketplace and install ES Explorer. ES Explorer. You just hit search and you just type in ES space. It says right there File Explorer, first one on the list. Go ahead and click on it, install, install it, then open it. First thing we're going to do is go hit menu, settings. Uh, you want to scroll up to home directory click home directory you want to change it so it says system so it's like forward slash system forward slash then hit OK then you want to scroll up more to the bottom and you want to click on root explorer yes and you want to also click mount file system so both of the last two things are checked and you click back and you want to get to your system folder. There's an arrow up here you could click and that usually lets you choose different folders. You can click system there possibly or you can click the up up button right here and that will basically take you to the top which is the system folder. Then you scroll up to the bottom to build prop. You want to open the build prop file by clicking on it. You want to use ES note editor. Now anytime the keyboard pops up and you want to uh, lower it so you can see more text, there's a arrow, down arrow right here you can press and that hides the keyboard so you have a full screen. Now, if you want to pop the keyboard, just click anywhere on the on the place where you can type and the keyboard comes up. I have made my keyboard larger um, and so it takes up more screen space. You can do that in the touchpal keyboard settings. Uh, there's a setting to make the keyboard a little larger for typing or swiping. So what you want to do is you want to see all these RO dot files or lines. You want to scroll up slowly until you get to the bottom of it where you see all these numbers. RO, RO dot build dot fingerprint equals Verizon underscore WWE. You want to change this line. You basically want to click carefully to put your cursor at the very end of the last digit and you basically want to delete all the digits that are there everything basically before the colon and up until the 2.3 yours might say something different so you want yours to say 2.3.4 slash forward slash capital G, capital R, capital J, 2, 2, forward slash, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 9, and then colon, user, forward slash, release, dash, keys, that should already be there. So you just want to change that number because that will basically tell the phone and the service, the network, that you're updated to the current version so they don't uh, update your phone, they don't try to update or send updates. So once that is complete, that's the hardest part, you hit menu, save. Once it's saved, you hit back, and you hit menu, settings, scroll up all the way to the bottom, unmount the file system, and uncheck the root explorer, then go back, 
Go back to exit again. And we are out back in the marketplace where you can where you can find all your apps and install stuff. Don't go too crazy installing apps because it can make your phone very unstable. I've had people their phone starts acting up and doing weird things and the only thing they had they do to fix it is completely reset the phone and wipe everything. But the good thing is is when you put your email back in your Gmail, all your apps, most of your apps come back onto your phone so you don't have to download everything from scratch. So that's about it. Some of the some of the icons I recommend you put on your screen are flashlight, calendar, hand sent, canine email. If you're just using Gmail or one email account, you might be happy with the built-in email program, but canine email is really good. Um, maps. And if you're using too much data, there's something called Droid Wall, which can it's like a firewall for your Droid and it will block certain apps from using your data connection. So only use Wi-Fi. There's also voice over IP services. Gas Buddy is a cool one. You can see what prices of gas stations around you are, which is pretty handy. Let's see what else. I use browsers like Firefox and Opera Mini because I find that the built-in uh, browser isn't always uh, compatible with every website. I find having three browsers is uh, very handy. The built-in browser, you click the the Earth right here to get to it, and uh, this is you know usually where I start if I just want to Google something real quick. Another cool app is Google Goggles. It lets you take pictures of an item at the store, and it shows you what prices, uh, news, and weather you have built in. You, you slide your your screen to the left to get to the news stories camera is also a good one to keep on your icon so there you have it and music I keep on my desktop so that's my mp3 player and I download uh, mp3s either online or connect to my computer and use the phone as a hard drive when you connect your cable to the phone you get a choice of menus you can change it from HTC sync to use the phone as a hard drive or charge it only no hard drive there's different options that you can select when you slide your menu your applications or notification menu down. Thank you for watching.